Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and I was looking over some comments recently, and I thought I would answer one of them here today in a video, and I think I'm going to make a video in the near future here where I answer a bunch of questions from viewers, because I have a lot of them, and uh, sometimes I read them when I'm out and about, and I just kind of forget them out, and I feel kind of bad about that, because I always look at all my comments and questions, but one comment on an old video, and I'm going to leave some links below, it uh, says, have you ever made a video about poor vision? And no, I have not. And I have just looked into this briefly a while ago. I read an article and I just looked at it just for a little while this morning, but I thought this would be a good subject for a video. And I like to be wine ranging and comprehensive. And this comes from an area of the world that I have not talked a lot about. But this, uh, my computer's going slow here today, but this is the island of Por Bajin and some ruins that have been dated to about 1300 years ago in the 8th century. And they are located in a very isolated part of the world in Siberia, just north of the Mongolian border. And uh, these were discovered in 1891. And it has been a mystery and there has been a lot of theories on this site and who exactly built this. And uh, there has been some wide-ranging theories and one also said that this lake was artificial which geologists have proven that to be totally a, a bogus claim this lake was created 11,600 years ago just when a lot of large bodies of the uh, large bodies of water were being created and a lot of flood myths evolved out of that time period including plato's but that is an overhead look and the latest research has associated poor Bajin with the Chinese, which is pretty remarkable here. And if I pull out, you see where it is located in southern Siberia here, just north of the Mongolian border. And it just kind of shows how we kind of look at ancient ruins and look at today's maps. And it kind of proves how wide ranging some of these ancient empires were, including the Chinese, and I've made a couple of videos on the pyramids in China, and I'll include those with those links I leave below. But that is just a look on Google Earth at the island of Porbajin, and you see there is a causeway, a walkway leading out to this ancient island, and they say this is an ancient causeway, but by the uh, way it looks and how it is preserved in this body of water, I'm sure there has been recent efforts to keep that intact. Just wanted to mention that. And if you have any information on Porbajin, I have not looked into this. I admit that. I have not looked into it deeply. But if you have any information on this, please leave it in the comments. And this is Daily Mail, and I'm just going to read a little bit here. It says, at first glance, a rectangular island of Por Bajin looks like a foreboding fortress or prison with its rectangular structure and ruined section. But it is unknown for certain what the rectangular island and its labyrinth ruins located in a lake in deepest Siberia act was actually used for when it was built 1300 years ago. Historians and scientists are divided, but some experts believe the isolated area may have been built to attract people instead of imprisoning them and suggest it was a summer palace, monastery, or an astronomical observation. And I really haven't, nothing has really caught my eye that it was an astronomical observation. And this is an artist's reconstruction of what it looked like in antiquity, back about 1300 years ago. I guess it's not really that far back in history, but 1300 years ago was a long time ago. And supposedly it was modeled after an ancient uh, Chinese sacred city or temple and here is just some more pictures of it and these ruins look very odd just what's left here today and once again i will leave this link below but here is some more ruins a good overhead shot of what it looks like and they originally thought this was a fortress just because the outer wall was so large surrounding the inner ruins. Here is a look at some more pictures and you can see that ancient causeway that I imagine with this lake freezing over and it gets really cold here in the winter time I imagine there had to have been some recent efforts to keep that intact. 
And here is just some of the research going on. And I guess the research has really uh, ramped up in the last few years. And here is an artist reconstruction of what some of these original structures look like. And I like the monastery theory from the Chinese. And here are some symbols that have been associated with the uh, Chinese on some artifacts that were found and some ruins that were found. Here is what is called a dragon tile that was found here and some other ornaments. And I will leave a link for that below. There's the artist reconstruction. Here is a gentleman by the name of Vladimir Putin uh, exploring the ancient ruins. And he said this is one of the most mysterious places, weirdest places he's ever seen. Here is that dragon tile up close. Here is Mr. Putin again, checking out some of the ruins. And here is a look at the ruins again from overhead. But I have not looked into this that much, and it seems to be associated with the Chinese. Some artifacts found here associated with the Chinese, and it just kind of proves how wide-ranging this uh, ancient Chinese kingdom was. And I'll leave some links below. But that is just a general look at poor Beijing. And if you have looked into this deeper and have any more information on it, I'd sure appreciate it. This comes from southern Siberia, an area of the world I have not made many videos on, but I will leave a few links below. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.